four people have died, and four more are in hospital, one with serious injuries, after a massive explosion demolished a shop in the flat above in Leicester last night. Heroic bystanders dragged victims to safety and clawed away flaming debris with their bare hands within seconds of the blast obliterating a Zakba Polish shop on Hinkley Road. Police confirmed the tragic deaths early this morning adding that they believed some still remained unaccounted for. Dramatic pictures show flames leaping from the store as bystanders race towards the danger with one leaping over a mangled road barrier in his desperation to help. The explosion, the cause of which is not yet known but has not been linked to terrorism, ripped through the convenience store shortly after 7 p.m. on Sunday night. Harrowing footage shows emergency crews apparently administering first aid to a victim on the ground as the blaze took hold behind them. Superintendent Shane O'Neill said, There are a large number of resources from various agencies at the scene in Hinkley Road and they are expected to be in place throughout the day. We know the explosion and subsequent fire will have caused considerable concern to residents and business owners in the area and we would like to thank people for their support and patience while teams continue with their work at the scene. There are four confirmed fatalities at this stage and a number of people still undergoing treatment in hospital. The building consisted of a shop premises on the ground level and a two-story flat above it. We believe there may be people who have not yet been accounted for and rescue efforts continue in order to locate any further casualties. Once the site is deemed to be safe a joint investigation with Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service will begin looking into the circumstances surrounding the incident, which at this stage are not being linked to terrorism. Emergency services remain at the scene this morning and are searching the collapsed property. A Leicester Hospital spokesman said last night, six people were taken by East Midlands Ambulance Service to Leicester Royal Infirmary from the scene. Two of these patients are in a critical condition, while four are walking wounded. The blast is thought to have obliterated both the shop, the flat above, and the bus stop in front. Anthony Clark, 69, told The Sun Online how he helped drag a stricken survivor from a pile of flaming rubble after narrowly missing the blast himself. He said, I'd just been for a drink in Morgan's next door and had just left about 10 minutes before the explosion. I was in there with my two sons. I had just got home and went upstairs to get changed, and the explosion happened. I just rushed downstairs and down to the end of the road. There was debris everywhere. Me and another guy dragged this guy out of the rubble. He was lying with a bit of metal, a girder, across him. There was a police officer trying to lift it off him, and we helped to lift it. We pulled him 20 30 feet down the road away from the fire in case there was another explosion. Then the police told us all to move away. Normally I would be going over there the pub about the time the explosion happened, but my son-in-law wanted to go earlier as he had to leave. The girl next door was in the takeaway TJ's next door, and when it went off it happened just as she was leaving. She was shaken up but not hurt, she's okay. Julie Dexter, 56 who has lived on nearby Minehead Street her whole life, added, it felt like the house was falling down. I was scared to death. The sound, I thought it was a bomb. There's just glass everywhere, the road is full of debris, there's plumes of smoke. I had just gone to wash my hair, I did just dried it, and then everything just shook. 
the doors, windows, the whole house just shook. I was just terrified. I ran downstairs, and by the time I got to the front door, the police were already there in the street. The flames were so high, and the whole building is gone. The cat disappeared because she was terrified. I've never seen anything like this around here before. Firefighters battled for nearly an hour to bring the blaze under control, finally extinguishing it shortly after 8 p.m. It is believed the shop, which had been a Londis outlet until a few weeks ago, was open at the time, and at least two workers were inside. The store on Hinkley Road was part of a row of shops and was next door to TJ's Takeaways and Morgan's Bar Pub. Jack Gerling, 28 said, I live just around the corner and I heard a massive explosion. It was like an earthquake. Immediately I knew it had been an explosion. I looked out my window and saw masses of smoke, and a few moments later I could see flames going up into the sky and hear sirens. Tons of emergency services were here almost immediately, and it seems like lots of people rushed in to help out. The cordon was put up about 15 minutes after the explosion. I've heard people were taken to hospital and I just hope there's no one too badly injured. It really is a horrific situation. A Leicestershire police spokesman said, Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service are dealing with the incident and Hinkley Road between Moston Street and Carlisle Street has been closed off. Businesses and homes in the immediate vicinity have been evacuated, and those affected have been taken to Hinkley Road Police Station as a temporary measure. Four people have been taken to hospital and we await an update on their injuries. The cause of the explosion will be the subject of a joint investigation by the police and Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service. A Leicestershire Fire and Rescue Service spokeswoman added, This is a search and rescue at the moment. The affected property was a two-floor building with a loft conversion that had suffered a pancake collapse. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun Online News team? Email us at tips at the sun.